Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome back again to The Correct Views. Um, a quick update for those of you that have been following me on Facebook. Thank you so much to all of you that have been saying prayers for my dad. Um, gallbladder is uh, out. Unfortunately, other things are abysmal. He is in ICU at the Cleveland Clinic, so that's why you haven't heard from me in a minute. Uh, I'm in Canton with my mom, and my brother is up there with my dad. But the news keeps going, and so do I. All right, guys. Meet Monsanto's number one lobbyist, Barack Obama. This is from John Rappaport, Infowars.com. This is interesting. During his 2008 campaign for president, Barack Obama transmitted signals that he understood the GMO issue. Several key anti-GMO activists were impressed. They thought that Obama, once in the White House, would listen to their concerns and act on them. All right, friends, let me ask you something just really quick here. How many of you know what GMO food does to you? Did you see the tumors on the rats? Look at this. Oh, that's not a rat. Well, that is a rat. But fortunately, he doesn't have tumors. Let's face it, none of us want him sick. We just want him out of the office. Um, I'm going to quit kidding around, guys. You see those tumors? That is what GMO food does to you. And if you don't believe me, and this is why I've been talking about food lately, my father... A damn near a non-drinker. Seen him drunk four times in my life. The last time was a decade ago with me. Um, never, I mean never drinks. You buy him a bottle of wine for his birthday, he's drinking some of it his next birthday. Um, never. Um, gallbladder. Massive shutdown. Now, I mean, he's never eaten well. I mean, he's always been kind of a bigger guy. But he's always taken rather good care of himself. And it's been since the rise of these GMO foods that his health has went south. Now, again, like I said, he's kind of big. He's got a bit of a heart problem. And I'm not blaming the heart trouble on Monsanto. That's because he's kind of big. Um, ditto on the sugar diabetes. Although, uh, we won't even get into, um, oh, um, what's wrong with me? Um, high fructose corn syrup, shall we? No. So, uh, I'm, I'm saying people look. My father is in hell right now, and many of you listening to this are this close. Keep chugging down the pop, keep eating garbage, keep not taking vitamins, not drinking vitamin water, and see what happens to you. These activists weren't just reading tea leaves, it says. On the campaign trail, Obama said to let folks know when their food is genetically modified because Americans have a right to know what they are buying. Well, listen to this. After the election, the Obamas, and during Obama's term as president, people who had been working to label GMO and warn the public of its huge dangers were shocked to the core. They saw that Obama had been pulling a bait and switch. No, not him. Listen to this. As USD, at the USDA, as the director of the National Institute of Food and Agriculture, Roger Beachy, former director of Monsanto, Danforth Center, appointed by Obama. All of these people, appointed by Obama. As deputy commissioner of the FDA, the new food safety issues are the infamous Michael Taylor, former vice president for public policy for Monsanto. Taylor had been instrumental in getting approval for Monsanto's poison, a genetically engineered bovine growth hormone. As commissioner of the USDA, Iowa governor, Tom Vlasic, Vlasic set up a national group, the governor's Biotechnology Partnership, and had been given a Governor of the Year Award by a biotechnology industry organization whose members include, drumroll, Monsanto. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, Monsanto are you know, the people that make the, the company that makes the poison that goes into most of your food. Um, as the new agriculture trade representative who would push GMOs for export, Islam Shadiki, a former Monsanto lobbyist. As the new counsel for the USDA, Ramona Romero, who had been corporate counsel for another biotech giant, DuPont, uh, and uh, look up what DuPont's nonstick cookware, uh, cookware does to your mind if you still have one, since Alzheimer's is one of the things it causes. Um, as the new head of the USAID, 
Rajiv Shah, who had been previous, who had previously worked in key positions for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, a major founder of the GMO agricultural research. We should also remember that Obama's secretary of hate, Hillary Clinton, once worked for the Rose Law Firm, the firm was counsel to Monsanto. Obama nominated Elena Kagan to the U.S. Supreme Court. Kagan was a federal solicitor general, had previously argued for Monsanto in the Monsanto v. Gearston seed case that went to the Supreme Court. In other words, thanks to him, we have Monsanto GMO alfalfa, sugar beets, and BT soybean coming soon, a GMO Monsanto sweet corn. Syngenta GMO gave us uh, corn for ethanol, stacked corn, soybean, uh, BT cotton. Bayer uses GMO cotton. Um, Atrin for an anti-clotting agent uh, made from transgenic goats. I mean, that, if it works, and, and you know, but I mean, there are probably healthier ways. Um, Bayer GMO cotton again. Um, and a GMO papaya strain. This is from the... Let's pretend you, you think I'm nuts. It may be easy for some of you. Now, do me a favor. Think about the lie. I'm going to pretend that I think Monsanto is safe. Even with the rats. Okay. Point is, Obama made yet another campaign promise that he broke. And it doesn't matter which side of the issue you are on. Um, the point is this food is killing you whether you want to believe it or not. But that's almost a side note compared to the fact that it is one more lie. Um, Paul Joseph Watson, InfoWars, Monsanto launches damage control over GMO cancer study. Uh, this is hilarious. Uh, I'm sure many of you know about the, uh, I did a report on it last, on my last installment, go look it up about the rats and how this food that I'm talking about, or the corn that's in your Doritos, for instance, are causing these kinds of tumors. Well, biotech giant Monsanto has uh, launched a desperate damage control effort in the aftermath of a French study which found that rats fed on Monsanto genetically engineered corn were far more likely to suffer tumors, organ failure, and premature death. Monsanto immediately went into spin mode, issuing a press release over the weekend claiming that toxicologists and public health experts had found fundamental problems in the study design, but never said what those problems were. Um, they're also trying to say that, uh, well, let, me, let, me, let me find it because you guys are going to think I'm making it up. Since tumors and other ailments were only discovered after a four-month period, this throws into serious doubt previous Monsanto-funded studies that the biotech giant pointed to as proving the safety of GMO because they failed to extend beyond the 90-day period, whereas this French study looked at the effects of GMO throughout the lifespan of rats. That means uh, if it did it in four or five months to the rats, eight, nine years, you know what? You ain't going to have any problem with GMO. And then one day you're going to end up, I don't know, your gallbladder rotting out of your body. And you're going to wonder why. It is because you need to be out here like I am, yelling into a camera to try and give some common sense to, I mean, something as basic as what we're eating. Last thing I want to get to because uh, YouTube, uh, my videos are still down, by the way, and they're taking forever to put them up. Uh, go to... Uh, um, request for help on my channel and uh, you'll see how you can help me. Um, real quick, in New York, defiant Ahmadinejad, Ahmadinejad says Israel will be eliminated. This is from Reuters. Now this is one of the areas that I differed from both Ron Paul and um, uh, Alex Jones. Uh, Ahmadinejad did very much say that he wanted to wipe the Jewish people off the map. Now, for some reason, uh, and I almost never disagree with AJ, I mean, Alex Jones is the man, but no, I'm sorry, here, I, I, I'm sorry. Iranian President Mohammad Ahmadinejad said on Monday that Israel has no roots in the Middle East and would be eliminated, ignoring a UN warning to avoid incendiary rhetoric at the annual General Assembly session. All right, look, Mr. Ahmadinejad, this great Islamist. Well, the last time I studied Islam, you believed in the Pentateuch. That is to say, the first four books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. 
Okay. If you believe in Islam, then you believe in those four books. It talks about the Jews, doesn't it? Yes, idiot. So even if you don't like the Jews, to say that they have no roots in the Middle East proves that you're an idiot. Um, idiot, idiot, idiot. Um, those of you listening to this show know that I was very much in favor of bombing Iran uh, when they were building up the nuke plant. Two reasons. First of all, I wish somebody would come and bomb ours before we open them so that we don't open them. Um, not really, before I get the Department of Homeland Security knocking on my door, did you say to them, no, I'm kidding. Um, second of all, though, and I'm not kidding, we can't bomb that plant now. We can't. Because if we do, we're going to create a little Fukushima because they now have nuclear fuel stored there. When I was in favor of going over there, they did not. And um, I was in favor of it because, like I said earlier, that was not a, a, a bad translation. Ahmadinejad did very much say that he wanted to wipe the Jews off the planet. And I don't know why um, other people off the map, I don't know why other people are covering for him on this. Fundamentally, we do not take seriously the threats of the Zionist, Ahmadinejad in New York this week's General Assembly told reporters. We all have the defensive means at our disposal and we are ready to defend ourselves. Well, Mr. Ahmadinejad, Mr. Great Islamist who doesn't even know what the Pentateuch is that you're also supposed to believe in, Mr. Amazing Ahmadinejad, maybe if you 